What's going on everybody? It's Robert again, 1010's podcast. And today I'm gonna to be installing my Siki Manufacturing Oil Filter Relocation Kit. And it's actually a really neat setup because they have the oil filter relocation kit, which is just remotely adds a filter where it's not directly below your engine. But they also have this bracket and it goes where your uh, AC compressor bracket would go. So it just bolts to the side of the block. Then this bolts to that or like that so that it's just sitting uh, next to your belts and stuff in the front of the engine. It's real easy to get to. Um, I know that some people have complained that get, uh, depending on the setup that your filter gets real close to your radiator or your fan setup. So we'll see if that's an issue or not. Um, mine's a little bit different though because I have a Canton oil, uh, <clears throat> Canton racing oil pan, whereas a lot of people will just do the sicky kit, buy the whole thing and be done with it. I have to be difficult, so I, did, I pieced it together as I found stuff. Um, so I have to replace the block that uh, my oil filter is on. Currently I have it and it's just sitting directly below the block, um, way in the way of getting hit by something. If uh, I would bottom out, that'd be one of the first things that would get hit. Um, I tempted fate last year and went drifting went and went off course a few times. Luckily the bell housing is just low enough and the headers are below it so that it would, in theory it would take quite a bit to knock it off, but all it would take would be just one rock to be in the wrong spot. So this is the block I have to replace. Go straight to these lines, and then these, that goes straight to this. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. I already got everything kind of set up and ready to go. I'll do a quick um, shot under the car to show you what my filter looks like now, and then we'll do a time lapse and, sh and just kind of show the steps of how to replace it. And then I'll show you what, it's all, what it looks like when it's all done and what I think of it. Well, I'm not sure how my lighting is gonna work, but uh, hopefully you can see this. The oil filter, as you can see, is just kind of dangling off the bottom of the block and it's uh, kind of in the line of fire if I would bottom out. The headers, you can see, are a little bit below it and same with the bell housing. But uh, definitely tempting fate by taking this out every time it was set up like this. So I'm going to take this off and do my remote filter location and hopefully that uh, eliminates any risk of having this thing get knocked off while on track. All right, well you might not be able to see it, but I labeled it. Um, this side goes out to the filter, and this side is in from the filter. And it's extremely important that you get this right, because if you have it backwards, you might be buying a new engine. So this one to the filter, this one from the filter. And it, you might want to just label your hoses when you do it, so you don't get them backwards. I'm just gonna do it finger tight now until I get everything lined up. We'll go over to the other side and I will show you how to install the other bracket. All right, so I think I finally got a camera angle that's gonna work. Um, if you take the air, AC compressor bracket off, you got these two uh, bolt holes here. And then if you have the LQ truck motor, there's a third one. And this, the bracket from Siki is made for all of them. So for the LS, I'm only gonna use two bolts. And you can see I'm gonna bolt it up here. I'm gonna do it finger tight for now, maybe. And before I tighten everything up and get too far into it, I'm going to see how this oil filter fits. See if everyone's complaints are valid or if their uh, setups are weird. Or maybe mine's weird. But, uh, get it on there. Perfect. Well, I'm going to go and tighten everything up, see if I can run these hoses in a way that they don't dangle, because right now they're in a weird, weird position where they're hanging basically off the ground. So we'll go back over this when I'm done, and we'll see how everything looks. So we got like an inch or two, not quite, in front of the uh, oil filter to the fan. Uh, everything else is connected up real nice. You can see that it goes um, behind the oil pan where it drops down in front of the steering rack and then 
goes between the oil pan and the steering rack all the way back and then I will uh, finish the video up by showing you what it looks like over there and that's all there is to it. I assume the reflection from the sun is not going to do my shot any favors but you can see that it just kind of goes behind the oil pan and above the uh, steering rack and just bolts right up to the uh, to the adapter on the back of the pan and everything works like it works really well. I'm sure it would line up a little better if I had the Siki uh, oil pan instead of the Canton oil pan because I assume those links are slightly different but it lines up real nice and I'm really happy with it. Uh, we'll see how it works out for me as I'm running. It'll probably be a lot better knowing that I don't have an oil filter just dangling off the bottom of my oil pan. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up in the comments section. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Uh, appreciate the watch and let me know what you want me to see in the future.